G'day, back again with some Super Auto Pets. Still trying to get my head around this Unicorn Pack. I've played a couple of games with it. Um, won a couple of times. Uh, obviously don't have many trophies or anything unlocked yet. It's uh, It still feels like every game is just roll the dice. If you come across someone with a build that counts as yours, and I suppose it's the same everywhere, but this pack seems very focused on the abilities and certain builds more so than the other packs. So still trying to learn the best way to go about everything. Um, there has been a little patch release which nerfed some of the troublesome units which were just un basically unbeatable. So I haven't played much since then but we'll give it a go and just see how everything's looking now. Uh, we will be the crunchy burglars. So yeah, I think the, the patch fixed Nessie and the Chimera, which were both uh, summon creatures, and uh, quite often the creatures that would spit out would just be practically unstoppable, especially if you focus your build around them. So um, yeah, naturally that was something that did need to be fixed. Uh, I'm just going to combine those because I'm just afraid of the axe, the axe hounds. Uh, yep, there's two of them there, so just as well. Not that it makes a difference. So yeah, I've played around a little bit. I've just uh, really just been tinkering. I haven't uh, found a, a strategy that I'm particularly fond of, or that I found particularly effective. Um, but a lot of that is also... Uh, just not getting the units I need when I when I want them. <laughs> I suppose we'll get something happening with the mana. Yeah, shooting stuff. No. All right. Round four. And so usually by this stage I might have an idea of what my build would be, but my problem here is that I just don't know. Could be a leveling build, I guess. I feel like a rolling build as well. I find rolling builds, at least uh, every time I've tried to do it, all the good rolling stuff comes far too late, and by the time you pivot, uh, everyone else is just miles ahead of you. Particularly now that uh, Nessie, which was the... Uh, the biggest offender in the rolling builds that's been nerfed. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit different now. Uh, I suppose I'll level you. Okay. Oh, the Cyclops got nerfed as well. Red levels up, give it plus two mana and one experience. Works one time per turn. I don't think it was one time previously, so uh, that's a little bit less effective now. I like the skeleton dog. I sell you. We had a skeleton dog leveled up. Well, at least we get some stats happening. Um, maybe two skeleton dogs. Maybe. And eventually we'll pivot into getting that level into three, I suppose, if we stick with it. But yeah, I'm still playing this just purely in uh, exploration. Don't really have any set plans or, or favourite creatures just yet. If I put you there and you there, then still one short. Do that. I don't really understand the egg either. Start a battle, it faints and summons a cracked egg of certain stats. Usually they let you see what the cracked egg might do, but it's not here. I don't know what's actually special about it, to be honest. Um, my initial thought was that there'd be something here that benefits when something faints, but I haven't really seen much of that either. Maybe I'll try and pause it just to see if there is any special skill to it. Cracked egg. 
just an egg. Keep you growing. Uh, I do like the idea of a rock. At least it's better than that. Um, no, I won't spin that. I will keep rolling. Yeah. It's round seven. You'll have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> He's got a roll build, obviously, with his Worm of Sand doing his um, stats. We could potentially do the same. I do want to get rid of this egg, so maybe I'll just pop him in the team now. Won't invest in you, because I think you'll go as well. What's happening? I might as well just roll one more time. Here we go. Get some skeleton doggies happening, at least we've got some stats rolling in. That's ridiculous. Alright. You're leveling up twice to level 2 and then you're getting that, which will give you... I just need to do... actually, do I want two dogs out there? Maybe I'll do this. And you'll now be a level 3, and I'm free to use something else, such as this fella. I haven't actually used him yet, I don't think. Only only very sparingly. That boy and jumps permanent. Okay, so that's good for jumping builds. I'm going to get my rolls in this time. It's not bad. This dog it doesn't give more stats. It just gives it to more friends. Okay. Level him up. In turn, give one random tier three or lower friend two experience. Thanks. Summon this Nessie. But he's still still quite strong, but just not quite the level he was previously. I wonder if it's worth swapping out now. Um, I actually don't need to level you anymore, do I? Oh, choices, what do I do? I'll just pop in there, I suppose. I wasn't going to reach the uh, rolls new way. Okay, see this. What is going on? <laughs> Team Spirit. Friend levels up, give friends plus one attack and plus two health. Right, so they're all leveling up. He's gone nuts, buffing them to absolute extreme levels. Yeah, not beating that one. So, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining either. Like, I understand I'm still learning it, but um, just it is overwhelming to me. Maybe because I spent so long just on the base pack. Um, well, level 3 worm is there. Now I just need to get the rolls going. Yeah, that's good. How about a Yeti? Good money, Yeti. Um, this might be more important. 
I could get crazy. I've not really seen that. Like going to 100 100 is um, excessive. Probably counted by the, is it the Kraken that reduces health by up to 60%. Killed him. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, close. Okay. Got a couple of wins there. Um, what am I going to do this time? A bit early to tell. Don't really love any of these. I want a few more stats if possible. I think the, did this change completely? If turn number is even, replace ailment of one random friend with health. I don't know how that's useful unless you're using like the wall chicken to deliberately uh, puts a negative effect on your own team. I suppose that that works. So, are you there? We'll get you in. I don't really want to invest in you. May not have a choice. Um, you'll at least get some buffs from the rolls. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I'm not going to sink any money into these, because I know they're not sticking around. Okay, not bad. Right. Anna. Jumping. Deal one damage to a random enemy when you gain mana. And that's going to happen once. Possibly twice if we sell you, get the crystal ball. I'm going to sell you, I think. Pop you there and you there. So you'll be shooting at least twice. Uh, this. Could be nice, actually. As long as I don't have an axe handle hound. I'll just go crazy with the Thunderbirds for now. Do we get a better option? <laughs> Alright, hear me out. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see what this does. Giggly Sailors, what have you got? Okay. <laughs> Alright, that the Rambutan um, saved their butts there. But this wasn't a spectacular failure like I thought it might be. They really want us to have Thunderbirds. I've got five dollars. Rather not keep a spot open. Um, yeah, you're a little bit of a sneaky damage, I don't mind that. Especially early on when health isn't quite so high. Spend mana to remove one health per mana from the two most healthy enemies. I think that's actually a lot better. Won't kill the enemies, will it? But it will squish them up. Interesting. Um, what do? Oh. I'll give you two up to five. I have to roll. I don't think that's quite worth the investment at this stage, although that probably would have helped if I'd <laughs> known. Um, oh well, not to be. Oh, 
Ooh, that actually wasn't too bad. Because this guy gets them weak and this guy can jump in front and then just uh, clean up a couple, potentially. At that level, friend faints, transfer all friendly mana plus two to the nearest friend ahead. Make the last enemy crisp. I'm gonna crispify, I think. Don't mind that at all. And what do you do when you're leveled? Remove two health. Okay, so you're basically doubling your output if I do this. Ah, here we go. Summon build. Not too bad, though. Got him. Don't think I need to invest in you further. I'm sure there are better options, right? Another Thunderbird. What do you do at level 3? 9. I don't think I will do that, because eventually I'll, I'll just bump him up there as maybe we get a rock or something else. Maybe. There it is. Okay. Trophy for him. So that should potentially be a lot stronger for us. Not bad at all. So, do I... What does the antlion do? I'm sorry, not the antlion. Was he here? Tiger bug. Six or nine damage. I think he's worth something just for the moment I wouldn't mind seeing him do a bit more damage as well um, yeah okay what are you getting 6 and 9 so you're getting 15 you're doing 30 damage to the two highest health enemies most healthy enemies then you're jumping in front doing 6 damage to them just to hopefully finish them off a little bit of a strange uh, combination, but seems to be going okay. Nice. Don't mind that at all. And now... Gonna be getting them nice and crispy. Remove health and give attack. Don't hate that. Because you're not surviving anyway, you just need to go bang and do some damage. Ah, so close. Could do it again. Um, what else do we need? And for gold, I mean, leveling you up won't be, won't hurt, but it might not be too important at this stage. I think the red dragon. Don't mind having you around as well. I think I will focus on the tiger bug at this stage. And this may not carry into the late game, I'm aware of that, but interesting just to, to see how it all plays out. Nice. Okay, so I think at this stage that makes sense just because you're there. Monocopia could be great. What could it be? A list? No. I'll hold on to that. I think I want. If I can get three crispies on, then we're doing lots of damage. And not too bad. 
Uh, maybe I'll use it now. A steak or popcorn? What the hell is popcorn? Not what steak is. Um, I don't think that's going to help us, but what is this? Summon a random pet from the same tier after fainting. Alright. Popcorn dragon. Oh, that I guess. So tier 5, eh? What can you spawn? You can spawn another dragon, you can spawn a vampire, a bat, and mana. Nothing particularly exciting, actually, on, in hindsight, but... Okay, good. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Three crispies coming in. I don't think that'll stack well, will it? Um, I'm going to just upgrade you. That could be good, but that affects everyone. Enemy elements are two times worse. Well, what are you doing? Twelve? You're doing nine? Oh, you what? Thank you for your service. these crispies will do 12 damage to the last three, right? Then you're weakening people, you're sniping people. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'd be annoyed if I came against this. What does a Manticore level 2 do? Three times worse. Holy hell. Hopefully that takes effect before... Can I slow this? Well, you're leveling up now. You're already level 2 before they've got the fire. So now the fire comes. You attack. You're a prick, actually. Ah, the unicorn. That's a bit of a shit. However, what is that? Take double damage. Damn. That would have been actually <laughs> very close. Would have been incredible. Um, I'm gonna focus on you. Maybe not you. I think you're doing enough. You need 12, and that's doing... 24. Actually, maybe I should focus on you. Or you, for that matter. Ah, decisions. I'll, I will try that, just to buff... Hopefully, a bit of damage. What have we got here? Oh, these guys are toast. So yeah. Chill power, deal four damage, okay. Like that. Right. What are we looking for? Another rock? More manticore? Leave that. Leave that. This might be the way to go. I'd have to be. But you'll suddenly give 18. That'll really soften them up. Oh, 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ten rolls. I'm boned. <laughs> Well, we're on there for a minute. I started believing, actually. I thought, uh, I thought early on it had no chance, but it sort of synergized quite well. Soften them up, snipe them, burn them. Um, yeah, okay. Interesting. Oh, well, we'll have to explore that idea a bit more again next time. Then I'll leave it there for now. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, then you get to see more uh, leave a comment below if you have any feedback or if you'd like to see any games covered on my channel any suggestions are welcome and uh thanks very much i'll see you next time